What's up, guys? Apologies for the uh, delayed start there. Just getting the, the video up on the correct browser. But welcome, guys. This is uh, Power Yoga uh, by Broga. So what we're going to do today is a combination of the, of the two styles, cocktail, if you will. Uh, we're going to work through a bunch of sun salutations. Like we're going to go at it again and again with um, sun salutation style A, sun salutation style B. We're going to break down chaturanga. I'm going to put in options there for double chaturangas and stuff like that in the true power yoga style. However, what we're going to do after that, leading into the second half of class, is get into our broga style blocks. So we're going to do like a side plank block, we'll do a pigeon block, stuff like that, probably. We'll probably do a forearm stand block, okay? So this class is going to be correct for all levels. It doesn't matter if it's your first time on the mat or if you've been practicing broga or yoga for ages and ages and ages, all right? You're in the right place. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Lorenzo. What's up? Um, as I said, if you've got a couple of books or blocks, then great. If not, guys, don't worry about it too much, okay? You can work on fingertips or fists to give you a bit of elevation, and it's going to be a small section of the class that we need to do that anyway. Now, 37 minutes past, so let's just get into it, shall we? This class is going to be um, just, uh, just under an hour, so we'll, we'll finish up like 6.34, or something like that, right? Okay, guys, um, let's do it. So... Bring yourselves onto your mats. I've got two mats set up, so you get this kind of star position, this kind of cross section here. Move this back, and you get a full, a full shot. I'm trying to get my paperwork out of the shot there. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, let's do it. So, come on out, stop. Child's pose. Let's slide down here. All right. Sit your butt back on your heels. Let your hands come forward. Rest the forehead on the floor. And you can close the eyes here if you want to, guys, okay? I suggest that you try and do most of this class audibly, so listen to what I'm saying. It should be possible to do the class audibly, but I will be demonstrating, you know, almost all of it with you anyway, about 80% or so at least. Start to breathe through the nose now, okay? So slow down the breath. And here's the dichotomy that we're going for, okay? I want us to do forceful, energetic, difficult work, power yoga and broga, whilst at the same time, you know, breathing nice, calm, long, deep, slow, getting ourselves into a recovery state, parasympathetic nervous system. All right, guys, from your child's pose, I want you now to tuck your toes underneath and push on back into that downward facing dog. Lift on the toes, press the heels down towards the mat, relax the neck, let the head go. Repeat that, synchronize it with the breath, inhale, lifting on the toes, Exhale, pushing the heels down towards the mat, pulling the back of the mat apart, lifting below the belly button. One more time, lift on the toes. Exhale, push the heels down, pull the mat apart, relax the neck, shake the neck out. So guys, I hope that audio is all right for you here, using a microphone, and, uh, and if, it's, if the music's too loud, you know, just give me a, a message on the side of the screen there, and I'll adjust that for you, but I'm assuming that you guys can hear me okay. All right, so as from downward facing dog, I want you to bend in the knees, raise upon your tiptoes, look to the top of your mat, right, and hop, step, walk, or jump up to the top of the mat. From there, roll the spine up one disc at a time. I'm just going to come in short. Imagine that at the top of the mat. Roll your spine up one disc at a time. The head's going to come up last. Three, two, one, and we're standing up. Broga said it. Lift the toes up. Roll them down, squeeze the quads, draw the shoulders back and down, draw the chin back. Powerful mountain pose. Inhale, bring the hands up, and exhale, take the hands down to the mat and we come to the top. Now hop back, step back, walk back, whatever you're ready for. I suggest probably stepping back on this one. And let's do this chaturanga from the knees, okay? I'll give you all the broker options for this. We're opening with power yoga, but we'll have all the broker options so everyone can do this fast. So knees down for this first one. Gonna come forward two inches. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat, keeping the elbows in tight. Then from here, just lifting the chest off the ground, squeezing the elbows back, this is Cobra. You could even straighten out the arms here, get this kind of lazy up dog, or much better than that, it's gonna to be to push the feet down, press the shoulders down away from the ears, and get this real upward facing dog, so my thighs are off the mat here, right? Exhale, come back onto the toes, downward facing dog, hips high, heels are low. All right, guys. Bend knees, raise toes, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, walk or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, bring it up, hands up. Exhale, take it down, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's get focused on this bit. We'll flip the hands under the feet. Give yourself a wrist massage. You can have the feet hip distance apart as well. That's cool. Guys, a little bonus option as well. If you're feeling strong with your balance here, you can actually float the heels off the mat for a moment there. And that's technically a handstand. All right. So really important to get some massage on the back of the hands. Even if you've got to bend the knees a lot to achieve that, absolutely fine. Release, hands down flat. Step on back. Plank position. All right. Vinyasa, option two. This one to do it from the toes instead of from the knees. Exhale forwards and come all the way down. Inhale, cobra, peeling up into this up dog here, or the real up dog with the thighs off the mat right there. Exhale, back onto the toes, downward facing dog, spin the armpits to face. So guys, take a couple of breaths in down dog. Really important, I think, that we incorporate all of these options. This is what I like about Broga, is that you know, we can all come and practice together, whether you're an Olympic athlete or it's your first time on the mat. So myself right now, got a little bit of a this elbow soreness right here. Apparently that's called golfer's elbow. I don't know why, I've never swing a golf club anywhere. But um, the point is that I'm gonna be doing, I'll probably take the chaturanga from the knees option, right? Allows me to stay in the game, doesn't put too much pressure on that injury. So what I'm saying guys is think about this and you know, you definitely don't need to practice from your ego, practice what is good for you, what's healthy for you and what makes sense right now. Because you know, we're at home, right? There's no one around judging us, we don't have to do this for anyone else. So choose the one that works for you, okay? I'm gonna keep increasing the difficulty with those options. Bend the knees, raise the toes, look to the top of the mat, exhale, hop, step, walk, or jump up to the top of the mat. Good, inhale, hands going up. Exhale, hands coming down, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands under the feet. Remember, you can have feet together or feet hip distance, but the feet are definitely parallel. Massage the wrists with the toes and release the hands down onto the mat. Good, step on that plank position. Okay, guys, you can do this from plank or you can do this from tabletop, all right? But this time, here's how we're gonna increase the difficulty. It's just an option. Instead of lowering all the way down, you're gonna lower halfway down. So you go forwards an inch, exhale halfway down. 90 degree angle at the elbow, top of the feet, upward facing dog. Draw the shoulders back, again, I can be down here, but preferably I'm pushing the floor away. So even if my thighs aren't actually coming off the mat, because maybe you've got massive quads, congrats. Okay, but you know, we're trying, right? We're lifting, pushing the floor away. Exhale, back onto the toes, down the facing dog. Hips high, heels are low. Take five breaths. We're gonna do one more like this. One more like this, okay? And then what I'm uh, maybe excited about today is introducing the full version of Chaturanga with a double Chaturanga. I'm gonna allow you guys to use at will, at your own risk. And then, and then we're going to smash a bunch of sets of uh, sun salutation beat. We're going to do like three of those, so it's real power yoga stuff, all right? And we're going to throw dolphin poses as options in between that. This is going to be a savage opening to the class, power yoga stuff. We'll do the broken stuff next, all right? It's going to be difficult in a different kind of way. Guys, bend the knees. Raise the toes. Look to the top of the mat and hop, step, walk, or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale. Come all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands down on the mat, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands under the feet, wrist massage. Hands on the mat, step back, walk back, jump back. Okay, so we've got the option of doing it from the toes this time, coming forwards and halfway down, chaturanga, and then upward facing dog, drawing the shoulders back, downward facing dog, hips high, heels on low, relax the neck. Spin the armpits to face. So guys, down dog, really important here that you're, uh, you're turning your armpits to face one another. You're turning your biceps forward and your triceps backwards. That's gonna give you this external rotation. And what that's gonna do for your posture is get you out of this position here whilst you're scrolling your phone, working on a laptop or whatever. It's gonna get you back into this position here. Okay, this position here is better for our neurotransmitters and it, uh, it makes us more attractive as well. So we like that one. Yeah, because we're going to get out of lockdown at some point, and the sun's probably going to be out. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get more power yoga with this. So, one more option I'll introduce you to with the vinyasa. Okay, I forgot to throw this one in, so we'll do one more round on the A before we go B. Bend the knees, raise the toes, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, float, or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands under the feet, wrist massage with the toes, hands down. 
Okay, so you can even do this by jumping back and landing in Chaturanga if you wanted to. Then you're going to come up, back, forwards, down, second time. Double Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Let's do that one again, just so it's clear, okay? Because it doesn't have to be with the jump back. Lift on the toes, roll forward plank. So from here, whether you stepped into it or whatever, you've got that double Chaturanga option, guys. From the toes, or even from the knees, forwards down, up, back, forwards down, up, dog, back, downward facing dog. All right, guys. So true power yoga style, getting lots of press. If you're missing your bench press, your chest workouts, your push workouts, all of that stuff where you just need more of that push strength for poses like peacock pose, um, chin stand, all of that cool stuff, all right? Then uh, then this is where it's at. So let's do it, guys. I said, I've said a few times that we'll do it now. We're going into our sun salutation B. So this is Surya Namaskar B for your Sanskrit people in the house, all right? So guys... I want you to, from downward facing dog, that's where you should be right now. I want you to bend the knees, raise the toes, look to the top of the mat, and exhale, hop, step, walk, or jump to the top of the mat. Good. I like feet together for this bit. Inhale, halfway lift, they don't have to be. That's how I like it. Exhale, hands down on the mat. Because now, I want you to sit down into an imaginary chair and send the hands up, all right? So I like legs together, because you can just imagine holding like a coaster or something between your knees. So it keeps this bit of internal rotation and this pressure here. So squeeze your adductors, the muscles between the legs, send the hands up higher, sit the butt down lower, hold three. Send the hands up higher, sit the butt down lower, hold two. Hands up higher, butt down lower, hold one, and good guys. Hands on the mat, straighten out the legs, and that's a forward fold. Inhale, slide the hands back up to the knees. We've got that halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Jump back to chaturanga or step back to plank and lower forwards and down chaturanga. From the toes or the knees, double chaturanga is an option. Inhale, upward facing dog. So push the floor away, squeeze the shoulders back, big chest. Exhale, backwards to downward facing dog. So right now, guys, you're in that inverted V position. Not inverted, regular no, inverted V position. Yeah, that's what a down dog is. It looks like a mountain from the side, guys. It looks like a pyramid. That's a more normal way of saying that. Okay, good. So I'm going to give you one more option because this is going to be a difficult class. Of course, it is power yoga and bro yoga. So, guys, if your arms are just given up at some point, bring your feet together, drop your knees here, and take child's pose right there where we started instead of the down dog. Okay, you're welcome to do that at any point, especially when we get into the bro yoga stuff. Okay? We're not quite done with this sun salutation yet. This is a longer one, right? Surya B. So from your down dog, inhale, lift the right heel to the sky, point the foot, and take the knee up towards the nose, step the foot between the hands. Give it a shove if you didn't make it, okay? If your balance is terrible here, that's okay, then just drop that rear knee down to the mat for support, because now we're gonna reach the hands up, and we're gonna lift on up into that high lunge. So again, you didn't need to have that knee down. You could just step the foot between the hands and come straight from here. Absolutely fine. Hold three, sit down deeper. Hold two, sit down deeper. Hold one, exhale, hands on the mat. Step on back. Option to float the foot on this one as you exhale forwards and halfway down. You might take two of those. Remember, you've got double chaturangas. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left heel to the sky. Squeeze the bum. Try not to do this, guys. Don't open. Stack your hips, keep the big toe pointed to the floor, keep that leg straight, point the foot, and step it down. Remember guys, hands can go straight up, or a little bit of broga inspiration, taking the rear knee down, and lifting up here. Okay, so it is, we're going more power yoga right now at the start of class, more broga later on. And it's a combination of both. So even this starting point here, doing a bit of broga, broga inspired work. Three, hold two, Deep part one, exhale, hands down. Step that foot back, maybe float it off the mat, sit floating there, exhale, forwards and down. Inhale, upward facing dog, remember you had your double chaturanga option. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips high, heels alone. All right guys, that's one round of Surya B. We're going for three, I'm gonna give you three options between them, okay? So you could go here, down dog, this is the middle. The medium, the middle way, all right? 
You could go to child's pose here. This would be the kind of restorative option one. And if you're looking for something pretty advanced here, I want you to come into dolphin. So just take your forearm down to the mat and hold it right there. Push your head away from the floor. Holding for flat. And I said um, in the comment section, guys, to grab a book or something if you need it. Because right now, if your hands are converging, if they're coming together like this, and your elbows are flowing out, it can be good to just put a book or a block between your hands there. Five. Hold. Four. How are we doing, guys? In the castle, in the house, welcome. Three. Two. One. I'm going to put my username in the comment section in case you guys got any questions after class and you know where to hit me up. All right, guys, from here, find a way to downward facing dog. So if you're in child's pose, obviously straighten out the arms. If you're in down dog, you're in down dog. If you're in this dolphin, here's a difficult option a way to try and straighten out your arms from there. So just tricep extend the floral leg. Round two, bend the knees, raise the toes, look forward, and exhale, hops, at flow, jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, fold. Sit your hips down, send your hands up, chair pose. So you could be here, and it's actually easier if you're balancing too good. Again, I like doing this bit with the feet together, just to compress the legs together. Sit down deeper, hands up higher, three, deeper, two, higher, one, deeper. Hands to the mat, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step back, walk back, or remember you have the option to jump back chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Remember there's that double chaturanga option. Inhale, take the right heel up to the sky. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Inhale, hands come up. If you've got space, I like to take these big swan dives up and down. If not, I'm going to straight up at the front, fine. Tumble the fingers in. Exhale, hands down on the mat. Step on back. Plank or one-legged plank, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale, left heel to the sky. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Inhale up, sit down. Inhale, higher with the hands, straight over the arms. Exhale, deeper, hands on the mat. Step on back, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down the facing dog. Hold five breaths in down dog, or five breaths in dolphin pose, or five breaths in child's pose, guys. Five. Push the floor away from four. Three. Try and breathe through your nose, guys. If you've just joined us, two, and you miss stuff like the double chaturanga uh, things, and you just need a demo of something else, or something's not making sense, hit me up in the comments section. I won't be demonstrating everything in the class, but I'm going to take a little break just to roll up to the front and check what's going on there in the comment section. One. Okay, guys, so downward dog, push the floor away. If you're in dolphin pose, see if you can do that. It's good if you can. Some strong triceps. Come up into down dog if you're in child's pose. All right, we've got one more round. I so said we do three of these. We're not being traditional, so we don't work in traditional rounds, right? We just, we just get into it. So here we go. Bend the knees, raise the toes, look forward, exhale, hop, step, float, or jump up to the top of the mat. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down on the mat. Okay, sit the hands, sit the, the seat down, sit the seat down, sit the butt down. So the hands up, chair pose. Ukatasana, hold five. Four, shut the hands on the house, you're welcome. Three. Two, you shot the birthday yesterday. One. And bring the hands down on the mat. Okay, guys, inhale, halfway lift, slide the hands up to the knees, draw the shoulders back and down. Exhale, hands on the mat. Jump back to chaturanga or step back to plank, lower forwards and down chaturanga. Inhale, up the mat. Exhale, forwards and down chaturanga a second time if you're doing those. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips high. Heels low, relax the neck, let the head hang from the end of the spine. All right, guys. So Charlotte's, Charlotte's birthday, she was 30 yesterday. And I feel like uh, we should do some kind of 30-second thing for Charlotte. So uh, 
Let's do that with our next dolphin pose, all right? Let's finish this round first. Inhale, right heel up to the sky, so three-legged dog. It's right here. Exhale, step the foot up between the hands. Inhale, hands up. Go deeper, one, hands back further. Sit deeper, two, hands back further. Sit down deeper, three, hands down. Step on back, plank or one-legged plank or tabletop. Remember, all of these options, right? Exhale, forwards and down. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward facing dog, and you're going to do the opposite side. So guys, inhale, take the left heel to the sky, three-legged dog, exhale, step the foot between the hands, inhale, the hands go up to the sky, high lunge, sit down deeper, hands further back, sit down deeper, hands further back, sit down deeper. Hands go down to the mat with an exhale. And you continue to exhale as you step back and lower down into Chaturanga. Elbows in with the ribs. Inhale, up dog, push the floor away. Exhale, backwards through into downward facing dog. Hips high, heels are low. Relax the neck, relax the face. Guys, any problems with the audio, if the music is too loud, whatever, it's too quiet, hit me up on the side of the screen, all right? Breathe through your nose. Now, I said we'd do a 30 second hold for Broga teacher Charlotte Sands, who's practicing with us tonight. So let me get my uh, phone timer on, and I want you to take it into dolphin pose, all right? And later on, we're going to play with this as a block and start to take it up into forearm stands and stuff like that. I'll even give you the option to do a forearm stand at this point if it's in your practice, all right? But that's on you. What I'm teaching right now is forearm stand. If you haven't got a forearm stand, do a forearm plank. It's going to look like this, all right? So. Elbows come down, boom, dolphin. I'll show you that from the side. Dolphin. The more you walk forward, the harder and the better this will be. Pushing the floor away, trying to get the ears up into the armpits. Obviously, Charlotte Sands is probably going to be coming up here into her full dolphin pose, pitch your right asana, right? You can be looking through the wall behind you. Other folks who haven't quite got this down yet, just come into a plank from here. Forearm plank and dome out the upper back. All right, I'm starting the timer now. Here we go. Hold, I'll do dolphin with you, okay? 30 seconds. For 30 years of Shana Sands. Power yoga, broga combination tonight. This is gonna to be a, a powerful strength building class. We are 15 seconds in, guys. Press the floor away. Ears up into the armpits. 21, 22. Press the floor away. 25, 26, 28. 29, 30, good job guys. Give yourself a child's pose or a downward facing dog. And take a couple of breaths here, all right. So let's get back into our planned, our scheduled class. Uh, we're getting into our broga blocks now, guys. So we're gonna work into side plank block, get some strength on the side of the body, get those obliques on, get that waist tight, get it right, get it tight, all that stuff. And we're, going to, uh, and we're going to work a progression into a full wild thing, or rock star poses, we call it in Broga, okay? Now, the thing about Broga, guys, is you're welcome to skip out the advanced options and stay with the basic stuff, okay? So every time we repeat this, I'm going to keep building onto it. But remember, you're welcome to keep repeating it here, or here, or here, and get up to whatever kind of level you, you feel is appropriate for you today. All right, guys? Here we go. Let's do it. So, coming into tabletop position. All right, you're gonna put your right knee forward an inch. You're gonna put your right hand under your face and just wax off a little bit, Danny LaRusso, all right? Turn that out. Left foot goes back and you reach your left hand up to the sky. Look up to that top hand for five, four, three. I know the advanced people are like, come on, bro. Side plank with the knee down. I want you to squeeze your butt and push and open this hip here, two, so it feels useful. One, exhale, back into tabletop position, okay? On the other side, so it feel like a hip opener, right? Left hand under the face, wax off a little bit, right foot goes back, right hand goes up to the sky. So pushing this hip forward, squeezing the butt here, lifting up here at the waist, I feel a powerful external rotation of my hip, I feel a good hip opener here. Five, four, three, Two, one, and hands come down on the mat, tabletop position. All right, guys, option to repeat that again, okay? That's what Broga's all about, doing reps and getting super strong at stuff. We don't just do something for five breaths 
you know, like you might you might do in another class. Nothing wrong with that. It's just a different thing. It won't make you as strong as quickly. All right. So here we go, guys. Here's the first progression. To so step the legs back, plank. You'll go right hand under the face, turn on the blades of the feet, lift the left hand up to the sky. Don't let the hips sag down. Lift the hips up high here. Squeeze the right side of your body. I'm holding here five. Four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Bring it through into plank. Let's do the other side. So left hand under the face and open up. Right hand up to the sky. You're looking up, preferably up to this right hand. That's what challenges the balance a little bit. Five. If you want to know how to get better at balancing, it's my opinion just that I mean, it's not just my opinion, it's based on some pretty good research, <laughs> some science. Um, that, you know, if you get stronger, right, your balance gets better. Your legs are really strong, um, therefore you're good at balancing on them. Your arms aren't strong, you're not as good at balancing on them, but making them stronger, straight arm strength here, as well as getting into the core. Two, one, get back into plank position or tabletop if you just need a, a quick break, guys. Have a look towards me. Next progression, remember. You don't have to take the next progression. You're welcome to stick with exactly what we just did, but if you do want to take it further, little progression, right hand under the face, open. What you're going to do is stack the feet now. Stack one leg on top of the other. Okay, you can even go for a little tree pose here, putting it on the calf or on maybe the inner thigh if you want it to be a little bit yogury about the whole thing. All right, why not? Here we go. Power yoga option. Here, amidst the broga section. It's like the yin and the yang, right? There's a little white spot in the black half, there's a black spot in the white half. We're not going pure power yoga at the start of class and broga is uh, the second half, but we are kind of mixing it that way. Two, one, good. Come back into plank position or tabletop. Let's do the opposite side. So left hand under the face, guys. Step on back and rotate open. So right hand up to the sky. You might be putting that right foot on the inner thigh. You might still have a knee on the mat, fine. You might be on the blades of both feet still. Again, that helps with the balance somewhat, right? Five, you might just be stacking the feet. Four, so many options, right? That's what allows us to practice all together, and that's what allows us with Broga. You know, Broga's a rewarding thing because you can really see your progress. You're like, wow, I didn't do this option last week or three weeks ago or whatever, and now I'm like three, four options ahead, and maybe you're in the peak pose. Two, one, bring it down to tabletop position. We got one more progression before we hit our peak pose of this, the wild thing, all right? And to be honest, guys, this progression might be muscularly more difficult than the peak pose. I find this more difficult. So maybe this is the peak pose, who knows? Okay, guys, so, uh, from your uh, plank position, right? This will be the same, right hand under the face, open out, stack your feet. But then you're just gonna open up this top leg come into this star position and look up to that top hand. The Jane Fonda option, let's get into it if you're not already there, five. We won't hold this one quite as long, four, three, three. We're here for two, and on one, switch sides guys, left hand under the face, open out chest to this side of the room, look up at that right hand and try to open up your legs. So guys, I know that this is really hard, okay? Especially, um, it tends to be the gents in the room um, who struggle with this more than the girls just because our hips are a slightly different structure. And uh, we don't tend to do like as many workouts, you know I'm saying, for the gym people with like bands around our, our thighs and stuff all, all like that, which we probably should. So what I'm saying is that it might be harder to open your legs up. So you don't have to open them crazy far apart. If you can just literally lift a little bit, then you're still activating those same muscles, okay? Fine, three, two, one and back into tabletop position. Guys, take down dog or take child's pose. I just want you to take two breaths there, a little bit of recovery before we get into our peak pose. And what happens with Broga is every time we complete a block, and this is a block right now, this is the side plank wild thing um, block, or rock star we call it in Broga, we kind of have our own language for these poses. So if you speak Broga, that's what this is. We get five, we get five breath break, all right? Guys, come back into tabletop position and have a look this way. I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this. All right, so the full wild thing pose. We, uh, what's cool about Broga is we get into this in a more structured kind of step-by-step -step way. So it feels a little bit less daunting. And you've basically already done it if you're still with us. Right hand under the face. 
open here, here, if you're still with us here. All you're going to do is bend the top knee and then put the foot on the floor and open the chest up towards the ceiling. Once again, guys, that is this. Open, bend, open, right there. Here we go. Five. Remember, you don't have to be in this. You can be on the knee still doing your side plank. Four. And you don't have to see linear progression. In fact, you probably won't every week. Three, you have strong days on the mat. You have days where you're overtrained or days where you're just tired and stuff and you still come on the mat and practice. Don't always have to like push, push, push. Two, one. Good job, guys. All right, switch sides. I assume good job. Still got, still got all of our, uh, all the same number in class. So uh, it seems like you guys are making it. <laughs> If you guys do get lost with anything, if you just need uh, to be refreshed on a certain pose or something like that, I am demonstrating most of it. I try and teach so that whole class can be audibly understood. You can also interact with me on the side of the screen. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right, five breaths. I would say it's a break. It doesn't have to be, okay? You can use downward dog. I'll throw this one in for Charlotte, another super strong viewers, okay? People in the room, in case we've got any other yoga teachers or yoga teachers in here or personal trainers. You can hold that dolphin again if you want to. But most of you are probably going to want to use the child's pose. Take three more breaths here. Try and breathe through the nose. And where are we going to take it to next? We're going to do another broga block. I want to do king pigeon today because, god damn, I feel tight and that's going to be uh, difficult. So we're going to all struggle through that one together. I'll do the whole block with you guys, okay, with all the progressions. But. Dolphin pose next, all right? Dolphin pose is going to open up our posture, get us out of desk posture. So let's do it, all right? Guys, if you've got a block or something like this, it can be useful to have it so that you can put it between your hands um, and this won't happen, okay? We don't want the elbows going out and the hands coming together. We want to keep this number 11 position. If you don't have one, provided the elbows don't go out, you can just go here. This will be okay, all right? Cross the thumbs over right there, all right? Not here, here. If you don't have one, you can also use a book, like The Oxygen Advantage of Patrick McKeon. Put that right in there, all right? I'm gonna use a block. So, here we go, guys. Same thing again, we're gonna keep scaling up these options. So, let's start with a plank. Forearm plank, you can catch up to the elbows. Use this block, step the legs back, one, two. Okay, butt the squeezing, legs are switched on. Dome out the upper back, retract shoulders, and hold, five. Four. Three. Two, keep squeezing your butt and your legs, one. Release the knees down, good guys. Okay. So that's option one, and you're welcome to repeat it. That's the broke away. Keep repeating it, get stronger at it, and then the next one will come automatically, all right? However, if you now want to walk forward, then you're gonna end up in dolphin pose. We've been smashing this today, all right? I like dolphin pose a lot, um, probably tell. All right, so uh, you can walk the feet forward, end up in dolphin, or stay with the plank. Here we go, so second set, or first progression. Now, I'll change, change angles just so you can see. Okay, whoops, shouldn't have done that. There you go. Plank. So check your plank isn't here or here or here or anything, it's just a good plank here, but then you're gonna start to walk maybe forward. And the further you walk forward, the harder this dolphin pose gets. Push your ears up into your armpits, keep your head off the floor, underline the bowl and exclamation mark, guys, keep the head off the floor, and we're here for five. Four. Three. Two. One, come down. Release, good. All right, guys. You're welcome to just listen in, don't down dog or um, continue holding dog if you want to. All right, or child's pose. So there's three options there for you continuously. Okay, this time, Next option, and remember, you can do plank instead. Just do the plank or just do the dolphin. The next option is going to be from dolphin to lift your right leg up, kick and hop five times. Then swap legs and kick and hop your left heel 
five times, all right? So choose your option, one, two, or three. I'll demonstrate three, I'll keep demonstrating all the progressions. So here we go. Uh, tabletop um, into forearm uh, plank, then walking forwards into option two. Then, and we're not gonna try and hop backwards, we're just gonna hop straight up. We lift that right heel, and we go five, four, three, that it might end up being a forearm stand. Two, one, swap the legs, and we're going five, four, three, two, one, and come on down guys, release into child's pose, down dog, or even dolphin if you wanted to keep holding that for some kind of savage. All right, guys, take a couple of breaths through the nose. Make sure you're still doing that. I want to be breathing through the nose just continuously throughout this really if you can. It's possible we get a bit anaerobic in program. Sometimes mouth breathing happens, but we want to avoid that for as long as we possibly can, okay? All right, guys, next option is to kick it up into the forearm stand. And I'm going to throw this one out there for, uh, for Charlotte and for any other Beast or beast versus who we have practicing with us today. Gonna to give you the option to, you can do this from dolphin as well, but from forearm stand. Tap the nose or the chin and up, tap and up. All right, so that can be from here. Tap up. You can also do it from the forearm plank here. Tap up. And you can do it from here. Tap up. Tap. Oh, and uh, let's say five is, is a lot. Let's say five. You ready, guys? Come into your position. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Give yourself five breaths in down dog or child's pose. That's two blocks of brogue we've done so far, right? We've done the wild thing block, and we've done the forearm stand block. So brogue is not just straight conditioning most of the time. It's these blocks that end up being a peak pose. So we actually learn the methodology, all the different progressions to actually uh, to get the pose itself. So to get the position itself, you can, um, you can take the stuff off the mat with you at home and, uh, and practice. And uh, if you need any advice on that, guys, See in the comment section on at Ben Harrison Yoga, you can just tag me on social and uh, I'll give you some, some feedback, some help with those poses anytime. Or hit me up right now, any details, and I'll get more into that. All right, guys, next block. Let's do, I want to do King Pigeon today. So uh, we're not quite there yet. Let's do a lunge block, all right? We're going to do a lunge block that, no, we'll do a long body block, Warrior 3. That'll be the peak pose. And then we'll do king pigeon pose block. Those are the next two blocks, guys, and that's probably going to take us almost all the way through to the end, okay? So here we go. Down the dog. Now, guys, I want you to take a moment here and think about what's motivating you to complete this lower body block because lower body blocks are hard, big muscles here, big muscle groups, and we often get unmotivated, demotivated to do it. Here's a bunch of different reasons, okay? It ends up being a warrior three or balancing stick pose with hands forwards, which is super cool. It's a calisthenic position. It's a body weight position that improves our deadlift if you're a lifter, which is awesome. Gives you a great butt, okay? It gives you good hamstrings, gives you a great posterior chain, gets you out of bad posture, improves your neurotransmitters, makes you feel happier and better because you're in it. And, uh, and the last one as well, these big muscle groups, right? If we train these, it gives us a big fat burn that's going to keep paying off for the rest of the day, okay? It's not just whilst you're doing it. So choose your motivation and let's get into it, guys. Bend the knees, raise on the toes, look to the top of the mat, and hop, step, walk, jump up to the top of the mat. All right, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, hands on the mat. All right, so guys, uh, if you're not very flexible with this, go fingertips and then bend the knees a bit, okay? Uh, or even better is if you can use a block. Right, I'll show you that from the side as well, I'm right here. So what I'm trying to do is kind of flatten out my back a bit, even if that means I've got to bend the knees slightly. 
Um, uh, let's do left leg first. We'll go left side first, just because that's the way I'm facing. So with your left foot, guys, I want you to shuffle it forwards an inch, and then lift it up and out to the side, and down. So I didn't want you to bring it back here. That's what people do. I can do this all day. This is nothing, okay? Try and take it up and out to the side, and down. Ready? We're going to do 10. So that's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down, all right. Shuffle that one back in line and shuffle the right foot forward. Let me change angle just so that you guys can see what's going on here. Demonstration one, practice one. Take it up and out to the side and down. You feel your glutes seriously working here, right? This is going to improve your balance a lot. It's going to improve all your other poses. Here we go, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. Ooh. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step on mat. Plank position. That was difficult, huh? Exhale, falls and down. Inhale, forwards and upward dog. Exhale, backwards. Down the face of the dog. Fall the back of the man apart with your feet. And I bet that you can feel those abductors now have worked. They've done some work. And we're going to keep working them. They're going to build the balance for all the rest of our poses and for our peak pose in this block. Balancing stick warrior three. That's a difficult pose to get into. It's going to be an amazing way of you know, increasing your hamstring flexibility and strength. Okay, guys. Let's do it. Round two. And this time it's isometric, which means we're going to get it to the top position and hold it. Hop, step, walk, or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to knees. Exhale, hands back on the mat, fold. Okay, remember, here, or we're using a block or whatever. You get two ways up if you want to. A lot of flexibility to do this, but I like working with the block. So it's worth, you know, even if you have a lot of flexibility, think about working with a, with a block. Because the straighter you can get your back, just the better this will work. All right, um, let's go left side first again, so we'll be, we'll be in weird like that. Shuffle the left foot forward a couple of inches. Now just take it up and out to the side and hold. It doesn't matter if it's down here, or if it's way up here somewhere, or way higher than that. <laughs> if you've done ballet bar and stuff, you're gonna be better at this than I am. Five, four, three, two, one. Down, all right. Shuffle that foot back in line, shuffle the right foot forward. Take the right foot up and out to the side and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Down, good job guys. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step on back, walk on back, plank, take a vinyasa. So remember, you still got those double chaturangas if you want to do them. Up, back, towards down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Pull the back of the mat apart. Spin the armpits to face, biceps forward, triceps backwards. Take a couple of breaths here. I'm going to give you a little rest bite, guys. If you want to take two breaths now in a child's pose, you can do that. If you want to take two breaths in dolphin pose because you're in beast mode today, go ahead. If you want to take an extra vinyasa, throw it in. Three, two, one. All right. Let's switch on the glute max now. So we're going to switch on the whole butt. Mad booty gains from this, from this practice. All right. Guys, hop, step, walk, or jump up to the top of the mat. All right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat, fold. Okay. Bring the hands to block or whatever. This time, this will probably be a little easier. We're just going to donkey kick the right leg back. Boom. Okay, big toes point at the floor. Hips, sacrum is balanced. All right. Now, if I'm struggling with my flexibility, I'll just bend that bottom knee a little bit. Fine. Okay, I don't want to be round on my back here. I'm almost trying to be in a slight back bend. Okay. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, bring that foot down. Okay, donkey kick back the other leg and hold five. I love this position again. If you're tight with your glutes and your IT bands, 
if you're an endurance athlete, I used to be one of those. Um, for a while, I used to wrestle and stuff. So I've got all kinds of, you know, two sports that are just um, renowned for being not very flexible. This, this through here, I need to stretch this, right? And this feels awesome. I'm building strength here. I'm improving my balance. I'm improving my glute strength, my posture. And I'm getting this, I'm getting this stretch through here. Three, two, one, bring the foot down. Good, remove that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step back, walk back, jump back. Remember, guys, you can do it from the knees if you want to. And you can exhale halfway down or all the way down if you need to. Inhale, little cobra, upward facing dog, one of those options. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, raise the toes, hop, step, walk, or jump to the top of the mat. Okay, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. And you can use the block again if you want to. All right. We're nearly done with this one, guys. Penultimate, second to last, all right? So kick that right leg back, and option to bring the hands for our position right here. You can put a fist in the palm if that feels more, more secure for you, I guess. Supportive is what I mean. Hold five, four, three, we won't be here as long. Two, one, you can take it down, back into that forward fold. Let's do the other leg, okay? So donkey kick that left leg back, and hold, five, four, three, two, one. Foot comes down and hop back, step back, or jump back into Chaturanga if you want to. Inhaling upward dog, exhaling downward dog. All right, guys, last round. And I'm going to do this one with you as well. Um, at least I'll come into it. Um, oh, we're doing left side first and we swapped in with, well, whatever, it doesn't matter, guys. As long as we get both sides done, I'm happy with that. Okay, we'll walk out of here on a straight line. We'll be able to do the poses on both sides, hopefully. So um, here we go, guys. From your down dog, bend the knees, hop, step, walk, or jump up to the top of the mat. And inhale, halfway lift. Shoulders up back now. Exhale, hands to the mat, forward. Okay, hands to a block. This is an awesome way of just lengthening out your hamstrings, guys. You are struggling with your forward folds. This is the block to do, definitely. All right, uh, kick that right leg back. So your option to hold here. You don't have to keep doing these progressions at all. Option to repeat this, maybe, or this one. The last option, the final one, to send the arms forward here and make that capital letter T for torture. Well, that's how I feel about this pose. It's one of my least favorite positions to be in. <laughs> Five. Four, some people actually like this, it's quite easy. I can't relate. Three, two, we all have advantages and stuff that we don't enjoy in the practice. One, good, bring that foot down. Bring the hands down, let's do the opposite side. Don't you kick back the left leg, and hands forward, hands to this position, hands on the block, giving you that support. Five, four, squeeze the muscles of your posterior chain, right? As if it was a bat bend. Three, so what we're doing now is we're getting strong asymmetrically in the posterior chain here in straight line, and the next block we're gonna be starting to come back into extension, we're gonna be starting to get a back bend in king pigeon pose. One, good job guys, whatever you, you got done there, to take the, the feet down, hop back, step back, jump back, let's see a vinyasa to finish, or I see you in, in my mind's eye, okay, and into downward facing dog. All right, this is an awesome block. I say this, this is one of my, my evil creations for you guys. The King Pigeon block of Broga. Why it's cool to do after that last block is because it's gonna stretch them out at the glutes, all right? We've just been engaging them. So they're nice and warm and malleable. Now we're gonna stretch them out, release them. It's gonna feel good slash interesting. It's gonna strengthen that posterior chain, get us into the King Pigeon. So let's do this, guys. Last block today. Um, take the right heel to the sky. We're not taking a five breath break either, we're just gonna roll straight into it because we're savages like that. Lift the right heel to the sky and exhale. Take the right knee to the right wrist and aim the right ankle for the left wrist, okay? So you can see what I've done there. If I wanted to go further, I don't have to grab this and pull it forward, I can just shuffle myself back slightly. But I don't wanna go too hardcore with this angle, this shin parallel with the top of the mat because what I wanna be able to do is like come up here and not feel any pressure in my knee. So guys, if you're feeling pressure in the knee, 
get a block or something, put it underneath yourself, support yourself, a book will do fine with that. Or just come out of it, come into it a second time and adjust a bit, okay? No rotation in the knee, maybe feeling it a bit up here. Here we go. We're gonna do 15 pigeon push-ups, all right? So we're gonna use our bar, and our arms are gonna be here for assistance. We will scale them up each time, all right? We're gonna do them all on one side and all on the other side, like that. So here we go, guys. Fingertips out, all right? And they're wide, and the elbows can come out on this, so it's not really about the, the arms, they're just here to assist. Lift below the belly button. Uh, you can also stay on the toes of that rear foot with the knee lifted, or you can just be flat, knee on the mat. Doesn't matter too much about that really. Like. But lower down, 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 as far as you can go. Maybe your nose can tap the mat, and then you're going to pull up as far as you can go. So not just to here, but really lift and actually try and bring your fingers off the floor. Okay, because that's going to give you that back bend to actually be able to grab your foot over the top of your head and come into these full king pigeon expressions. Down for two. And up for two. Down for three. And up for three. Down for four. Up for four. Down four, five. Up four, five. Good job, guys. All right. Keep going with that. You can do 15 of those if you want to. The next progression is just to lift the hands off the mat. Kind of come down for one, do it with me. Tap the nose maybe, and come up for one. Two, up for two. Three, up for three. Four, up for four. Five, up for five. Good, hands down. All right, guys, the last strengthening progression here is to do it with hands up. I'll just demonstrate it. Come down, tap, tap the little fingers and the nose at the same time, and then lift back up. Big back bend at the top. All right, guys, keep going with that. So down for two, or down for one, because I said I'll just demonstrate that one. Pull up for one. Down for two. Pull up for two. I had to reduce the music. It was coming down too fast. Down for three, come up for three, down for four, up for four, down for five, up for five. Good guys, hands on the mat. Okay, step on back, take a vinyasa through, and we're gonna do that on the opposite side, okay? So, down facing dog, left heel to the sky, Point the foot, knee behind the wrist, pigeon pose. Now remember guys, I did a bit of talking last time, so that means that I don't need to repeat myself, but I haven't got to rush into this, all right? I'm gonna repeat myself to some extent because it's important. Um, probably don't grab the foot and pull it forward. If you need more, shove yourself backwards. Don't sit on one hip like this, lounging out, posing for the camera over here, all right? See king pigeons like that. I'm going to keep turning the chest forward. Um, I just talked about this on, on Instagram not too long ago. It's better not to twist with your pigeon for most of us, all right? So here we go. Straight forward here. Fingertips out to help us out a little bit with this. Probably gonna find which one's your tight side. All right, here we go, guys. Kind of come down, tap the nose for one. Feeling no pressure in the knee, feeling stretch in the piriformis. Lifting the fingertips off the mat, preferably, if we can. Down for two, up. Down for three, up. Down for four, up. Down for five, up. Okay, second option guys. Remember, you don't have to keep going with the options, it's Brogo, so you work at your own rate. Down for one, and up. By the way, this is gonna feel really weird if it's the first time you've done it. Because you've got to kind of work out the, the balance of it, right? Two. Three. Most important thing in your yoga practice, guys, is not to injure yourselves, all right? Four. Five. All right, hold it at the top. 
I'm going to show you this one one more time. Biceps so with the ears come down, tap, nose and little fingers at the same time. Pull back up into a big back bend, okay? Go. Down for one, and up for one. Down for two, and up for two. Down for three, and up for three. Down for four, and up for four. Down for five, up for five. Good job, guys. Hands on the mat. Step back. Take a vinyasa through into downward facing dog. And um, we started a few minutes late, so I was struggling to connect the video. Won't happen again, but call me out with a browser issue. So that means that we've just about got time, guys, to uh, contract our abdominals once. We're not going to come through into grabbing the foot over the head, full pigeons. We're going to save those. All right. We're going to get a good abdominal squeeze and a release into Shavasana, Broga style. This is how we do it in Broga. So guys, bend the knees, look through your hands, raise on the toes, and you can hop, step, or jump, or float through your hands if you can, or you can also just walk forward like this and come through here. All right, we're going to create a hollow dish position. So let me turn the side on so you can kind of see me. We're going to come back here, squeeze our abdominals, push our lower back into the floor, and reach the hands forward, shoulder blades off the mat. If you did my handstand workshop, you know this one, right? You need this. Or extend the legs here if you're feeling strong. Squeeze the butt, keep your lower back on the ground. Get a handstand position. You can do the full handstand position. Hands over head here. So I want you to keep squeezing in your option, guys, for five. And we do this in burger right before Shavasana because it's inspired by Jefferson Active Release Technique. Four, we squeeze everything in contraction so we know what complete relaxation feels like. We feel the contrast between the two. One, and exhale, release into Shavasana. So palms are turned up towards the ceiling. Draw the shoulders down, away from the ears. Feel a sense of um, achievement, okay? It's gonna say relief. <laughs> uh, that was a challenging practice today, I think so. Let the ground take 100% of your body weight, guys. And all I want you to do for the last minute of this class, I don't wanna to overrun too much, is I just want you to turn all of your attention onto your breath. So the sound and sensation of breathing in and out through your nose, or maybe the rise and fall of your stomach. And as your attention wanders, which it inevitably will, into the future and into the past in this minute, just keep bringing it back to this one point of attention, okay? This is important mental training. Why do we need to mentally, mentally strengthen ourselves? It's not necessarily for the good times, but it's about creating a strong mind, a, a enlarged left side prefrontal cortex um, when things aren't so good. Might be. Hey guys, ladies and gents, start to now slowly turn all of your attention, all of your awareness into your extremities. So move around your fingertips and toes is a less fancy way of saying that. And then bring the knees into the chest and give the legs a hug or don't, whatever feels better, whatever feels best.
Guys, now take a roll to one shoulder, so left or right doesn't really matter. We tend to go to the right side after quite a yang, you sort of powerful practice like that. And then push gently on up to seated and blink the eyes open. Guys, thank you so much for your practice tonight. And um, and um, apologies as well, we'll start a few minutes late. Definitely uh, figured out what, those, uh, what that issue was so that one won't happen again. Um, if there's any questions about the practice, guys, just hit me up in the uh, in the sidebar here, in the comment section, the live chat. Uh, Lorenzo asks, can you show us the last block from a side angle? Um, do you mean side angle pose or the side plank block that we did today? I didn't get where to put the body weight if on the entire leg or just on the knee. Um, I think you're asking about the block that we did today, so I'll run through that one real quick. Uh, the side plank block for anyone who wants to work that at home. So first, we're on the knee here. Then, we're on the blades of the feet here. Then we stack the feet. Then we lift the leg. Then we bend the knee. And then we are putting it down. We're not putting all the weight down on that foot. We're actually just trying to put my big toe on the floor and then opening my chest up to the sky. So most of the weight, Lorenzo, is in this straight leg here, it's in the blade of the foot, down there on the floor, if that's the pose that you're asking about. Otherwise, side angle pose, the yoga kind of looks like this, right? Yeah. So I can angle. Uh, yeah, I'll show, show you that one from a different angle. Um, as well, from the front here, Open, out, lift, bend, tap, and yeah, shot to right, that does see myself on the screen a whole lot better from this angle. So there's not a lot of weight in this leg here. In fact, it's kind of better if I can avoid putting all the, all the weight on it. And side pigeon push-up block uh, from side view as well, I'll show you that one. So this is my three-leg dog, right here. You can just about see my leg on camera there. All right, so I've got fingertip push-ups. I've got no fingers. And I've got hands up here to make the lever really hard. That last one's hard as hell. What we'll work into, guys, eventually is starting to like bring that rear leg up. Starting to, whatever, grab a mermaid pose. Maybe grab it here. Mermaid, though, you can try and keep the chest facing forward. So I don't want you guys to turn here and look at the, the side of the room, okay? Start just working this, quad hip flexor release, and you can start grabbing that up and overhead here. If you're feeling really flexible, I only really like to grab that once I'm feeling quite warm and mobile, which I don't right now, or kind of, kind of sore. So I uh, hope that makes sense. Thank you very much, Lorenzo. Good job, buddy. Good job, everyone. Um, if there's any more questions, guys, to think of later on, um, I put it over in the comment section there. I'm at Ben Harrison Yoga. Uh, smash the like button, guys. Give this one a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, what I'm going to do is kind of I'll have a look through the stats and I'll, I'll measure by likes what what kind of content you guys are enjoying uh, seeing and I'll be able to kind of tailor the classes around that. So thank you very much again, at Ben Harrison Yoga, for any questions that come up about this or any of my other classes. Uh, I'm benharrisonyoga.com, I'm benharrisonyoga at gmail.com, um, at gmail, should I say, for, uh, for email. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Have an awesome rest of the night. And I'm back here, uh, same classes next week, I believe. So Wednesdays, 6 p.m., Thursdays, 5.30 p.m. Let's get it.